Alright, g'day guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. Today I am out camping at Mount Crawford Forest in South Australia. Just doing an overnighter. Uh, it's a bit of a relaxing one just to see how we go. And uh, yeah, trying to get that fire going. Everything's a bit damp I believe, so see how we go. I don't have high hopes though, but yeah, we'll uh, keep persisting. And uh, yeah, I'll show you around the place. So a little thing about this campsite. This is called Rocky Paddock Campground. $20.30 per vehicle, with a maximum of 10 people at the site per night. And I think there's a limit on vehicles as well. I think it's all they charge per vehicle. So I don't know if you can get 10 people in one vehicle, but you know. Um, yeah. So I'll just go for a bit of a walk here and we'll check the place out and I'll show you why it's called Rocky Paddock. So this is right by my campsite. And it is a rocky paddock. We'll go for a little bit of a walk. And it's starting to cool down out here. There's no real paths out here either, so you just find your way. Obviously, being Forestry SA campground, no collecting of firewood, bring your own. So I brought my own, which uh, I wasn't real happy about because there was way less in there than what I'm used to buying. So they're skimping, but you know, here's what it is. Have enough for a fire until bedtime anyway. So, yeah, just keeps going on down there. And I'm in the middle of a forest, so nice and peaceful. And I did notice on the way in, we do have some currawongs here, which is a bird that I saw only in like Victoria and New South Wales, pretty much, in Canberra. Um, yeah, so I'm surprised to see them here as well, which is uh, interesting, but as you can see, forest for days and looking from up here you know put you right out in the middle of nature which is good especially getting to below zero tonight I think minus three I'll uh, put the right temperature up here so you know what I got to and uh, yeah there's a bunch of school kids up here doing some orienteering by the looks of it and they're camping so over this way I don't know if you had to see through the trees there. Just over here actually, there's like a tent. And they're all camped over in that field, so. Um, yeah, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah. So this is my camp for the night. And what's happened? Just had lunch. It's about 3.30. Um, I'll set the trail cam up tonight too. See if I catch any kangaroos or anything running around, which would be kind of cool. Plenty of rope over right here, if not ruse, wombats. So it looks like ruse to me, but yeah. Just check out up here. Go back to camp. Not cooking on the fire or anything tonight. No point. Um, fire pit's too small for my grill plate. So I'd have to put coals next to the grip fire, which I don't really want to do. So it looks like that fire's going. I'm burning that wood in the middle. I forgot I've got a magpie around camp too. So, um, yeah, someone left a couple of uh, bigger sticks here. So, uh, let that burn in the middle and then I'll uh, put it in the fire. Get a little bit of extra firewood. So, it is going, which is good. Because that's all my wood. So, I'm get my chair out sit up and sit around the fire for a bit.
Alright, so this here is my uh, Coleman Triton cooker. Runs on LPG. And those are on those small little butane cylinders, but I've got it on a 4 kilo bottle. And it uh, works really well. And I've not had a single issue with it. No flaring up, nothing like that. So, if you're after a good burner, one of these. Comes with a 1.5 meter high pressure hose as well. So, plenty of space for me to leave the bottle up on top of the spare wheel and still do all my cooking and everything under here. Um, yeah. Grabbed it from Anaconda. Wasn't super expensive. I think I got it on sale for 169 I think it was, something like that. Could have been cheaper, can't remember. But, uh, really good burner. Easy to clean. Grill plate, the uh, pot holder cover stand, pot stand, comes off and you can just get into it and clean everything under here. So, um, pretty straightforward. Has a little hole here for the uh, regulator, which you saw me screw on. Uh, yeah, really good burner overall. I was using one of those uh, single canister butane burners, but um, just too costly. I've had this bottle now two months, I reckon. Uh, and they did overfill it to begin with, so it took forever for it to uh, start using the gas. I do have a little app um, that tells me my level on there. I can show you that later. Um, so you don't have to use the hot water method and pour it down the side. But other than that, yeah, pretty good. Great to cook on, super easy. All right, time to cook some chicken up. I don't know how well it's gonna go in this pan. Um, haven't had much success with this non-stick, so we'll give it a shot. And uh, see how we go. Cook better on a griddle to be honest, cast iron. So, let's see how this turns out. I just don't know. And a bit more oil, I think. Not on level ground either, doesn't help, but so if you're wondering what I've got on the chicken, using this uh, master food garlic steak. Which is really nice, really good on the steak as well. If you're wondering what else I'm having with this night, I'm having nothing else with this night, just having straight chicken. Because I don't eat a whole lot, and this will be plenty for me. As you know, you shouldn't use metal tongs in a non-stick, but as long as you're careful with it, it should be alright. Uh, this was a uh, non-stick camping pan with a detachable handle that I picked up from um, Aussie Disposal, actually. About 40 bucks. So, let's see how I cook with it tonight. Yeah, I might do alright, I reckon.
All right, guys, just finished dinner. Had that chicken, it was great. Uh, if you're wondering what the uh, seasoning is, so it's the Master Foods garlic steak, but you can put it on chicken or whatever. It's beautiful on both. So go pick that one up from your local supermarket or something similar. Um, yeah, it's almost sundown now, so it's getting dark. Doesn't look like it, but it is getting dark. And uh, yeah, soon it'll be soon. It'll be time to climb into my swag. I'm going to sit by the fire here. Once it goes dark, just wait for it to burn out. And uh, yeah, then bed. So yeah, good camp so far. Pretty pretty quiet, considering the amount of people that are here. Bunch of school kids, as I said earlier, doing their orienteering and setting up with their camps. Probably see that on the uh, footage on the way in. And uh, yeah, it's been good. So nice and a relaxing uh, day today. And not far from home as well, which is great. So, so if you're in the Adelaide area, come check out Rocky Paddock Campground at Mount Crawford. Now, this is on a slope. So you will have to set up accordingly. Um, works well on a stretcher, as long as you sit in the divot in the ground, um, which there is one here just behind me. You might be able to see how the car's parked. That's why I look taller at the rear, was because I was in a divot and I was up on a high point on the ground. Um, other than that, pretty, uh, pretty relaxing. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Time to pack up and head on out. Got about 50 minutes before I got to get out of here on my checkout time for the campground. It was a reasonably good sleep, but I didn't fall asleep to about four in the morning. So yeah, it wasn't fun, but it was not cold or anything. I just couldn't sleep for some reason. But anyway, guys, you have a good one and I'll uh, catch you in the next video. When the moon is high, I pack my bag and I say goodbye to the city lights, to the city dreams. I'm off to chase the adventure, it seems, with my trusty guitar in hand. I hit the road, going to a far off land, through mountains tall. Living day by day with the wind in my hair and the sun on my face. Adventure awaits in this wide open space.